Happy New Year to all the viewers of our YouTube channel. I'm going to start the year with a special black powder hunting project. I'm going to show you how I developed my load for my black powder muzzle loading hunting rifle. In most of the European countries where black powder hunting, muzzle loading hunting is legal, you have to reach a certain level of muzzle energy to use your gun. In my country, Hungary, black powder muzzle loading hunting is still not legal, but we are working very hard on it, as I do believe that uh, we have one of the best big game substance in Europe. We have red deer, roe deer, fallow deer, mouflon, wild boar. For these species you need 2500 joules of muzzle energy. Today I'm going to show you how I develop my future hunting load for this beautiful Central European hunting capital rifle. You're watching Cap and Bull TV and this is Balazs Mehmet. This rifle was manufactured in Germany in the mid 19th century. These type of arms were the most sophisticated hunting arms of the muzzle loading era. This short, well balanced big bore rifle was produced in München by Miller, Fabader and Sons. The gun is equipped with double set trigger, protected by a traditional European wooden trigger guard. All the metal parts are elegantly engraved. The gun is equipped with a repro folding rear sight, adjustable to 50 meters and 100 meters. The bore is 58 caliber, it is rifled and has a twist rate of 1 turn in 48 inches. The gun is also equipped with a folding diopter sight. Although this gun was manufactured in München, the same characteristics are visible on many Czech and Austro-Hungarian hunting arms from the second half of the 19th century. The barrel is made of steel, a much stronger piece than the contemporary damask bores. The European walnut stock is warnished. I already reached 2500 joules of muzzle energy with two different kind of bullets with this rifle. The first one was a patched round ball, 58 caliber patched round ball. And the second one was a heavyweight 510 grain mini -A bullet from a Lima mold. Both bullets were accurate at 50 meters, but the round ball do not have enough penetration for big game, I believe. And the heavyweight mini bullet has a very curved trajectory that is not too comfortable for hunting. What I wanted was a lightweight conical bullet with flat trajectory and good BC. My choice was a 313 grains compression bullet from a mold designed by a shooter mate. This bullet has one deep grease groove aiding the compression and holding the lube. The bullet is sized to exactly 58 caliber. The grease I used was my standard mini A lube, a soft lube, applied with the help of the Pedersoli grease dispenser. It is mixed from beeswax and of course 0 W40 engine oil. Legal restrictions are strong, so before going to the accuracy tests, you will have to meet the 2500 joules of muzzle energy to use your gun. To verify this, you will need a chronograph. Before shooting an antique gun, I suggest you to take the gun to an expert to check if it is ok for shooting or not. I suggest you to take it to the local proof halves, as they have the sufficient tools to check if the bore will withstand the high pressure loads of black powder hunting. So you will need a chronograph and some mathematics. The formula of the muzzle energy is very simple. E equals M, that is the weight, by V, that is the velocity square, divided by 2. Simple as it is. Where the weight is in kilograms, the velocity is in meters per second, and you will receive the result in joules. The job is simple. I'm going to increase the load by 5 to 10 grains of increment until I reach the velocity that is needed for the 2500 joules of muzzle energy. But before going to... Pouring the powder charge, give a few light taps to the barrel so the powder will settle in the breech. And there goes the bullet, goes down with the weight of the, of the ram. It's also good thing if you're a hunter because 
Isten. Tomás for a fast second. Azt néztem, nem sárcsom. Akkor nagyon rossz, hogy The gun is ready to fire. So the charge we measured that gives us at least 2,500 joules, 96 grains of serious Swiss powder. This is small container is completely full. Here are the results. It is visible that there is a great velocity increment between 84 and 96 grains. The point where the gun cracks is somewhere here. This is the point where the gases have enough power to upset the bullet into the rifling. Okay, so we have the 2,500 joules of muzzle energy. But before proceeding with the accuracy test, let's fire a few more shots with this load to check if the velocity deviation is not too much. If the velocity deviation is more than 5 meters per second, it means that you are pushing the bullet down to the powder with different strengths from shot by shot. This is something that you have to correct. If the velocity is decreasing step by step, it means that your lube is not working correctly. You have to change it or modify the recipe. While you are increasing the load, there are two things you have to be careful about. First, never exceed the factory or proof house loads of that rifle. Second, never ever leave an air gap between the bullet and the powder, as this can cause serious barrel injury, even barrel blow. But now, let's go and see if this load is accurate enough for 100 meter hunting. And this is the result of today's shooting. The 50 meter 5 shot group was just excellent. The muzzle energy was 2540 joules, more than enough for any European big game. I spent about one year looking for the right bullet for this rifle, so I suggest you to be patient if the things do not work out with the first bullet. If you change the bullet, don't forget you have to measure again the velocity of the bullet and check the load. But there are many many things that you can change in this system. You can change the granulation of the powder, the type of the powder, the lubing, the sizing of the bullet, the weight of the bullet, the type of the bullet, the, the material of the material of the bullet, the alloy of the bullet. So many many aspects that you can change. But be careful, only change one thing at one time and always keep records about what you do. If you follow these steps, I'm sure that you will find the right road for your rifle, for target shooting or for hunting. Doesn't matter, it doesn't make too much difference. But be patient. You are watching Cap and Ball TV and Balaj Nevet. Take care.